Hello everyone, in this video we're doing a basic setup for point and click movement and we'll also combine this with the shooter module. Before we start I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. Hello everyone, so here we are back in one of our basic scenes. So I have a main camera, a directional light and a plane and I made the plane a bit bigger just so we have some space to walk around on. So first things first, I'm going to add a camera motor. And this camera motor will be a follow camera. And here we change basically the, you know, the distance and the angle. Now this will have quite a bit of impact. So I'll, uh, I'll show that in a bit as well. And because I already created this scene, I'm going to manually drag in the camera motor. Now, if this is your first scene, if you just create a scene from scratch, most likely you won't have to do this. But just in case it won't work, this is how you do it. Next up, we're going to add a player here. There we go. And the big change here is going to be um, input type. So we're going to change this to point and click. And I'm going to leave movement to the left clip, click as well. And I'm going to turn off acceleration because I don't think it works really well with this type of game. I'll turn on navigation mesh as well. And let's hit play. So as you can see, we have our uh, our player here, and he can uh, you know walk around just fine. It's pretty instantaneous because we didn't use acceleration. Now, if you want to use acceleration, it will use look a bit differently. I'm not sure if that works straight away, but yeah, it's uh, it's up to you really. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'll uh, I'll turn it off myself. So that's first thing. Now, when it comes to the camera motor. Um, I do want to demonstrate, you know, the effects. So if you want it to be, be a bit closer, um, you know, or even further, um, you'll have to change those values to whatever works for you. So I think uh, 888 works well, um, but if you think that's a bit too far away, you know, you can do 666 as well. Or anything else, really, whatever you want. So cool, that's... Uh, that's that for the movement. Now let's make this the main camera motor. Then next up, what we're going to do is we're going to give our players some shooter abilities. So shooter mechanics. Perfect. And here I'll add two triggers. Now the first trigger will be to draw a weapon. And I'm going to map this to alpha one, which is basically the, well, the, the one key. So key down and alpha one. So that's going to be the first weapon, which will be our pistol. Then the next trigger is going to be to shoot. And here we are going to use mouse and we're going to do mouse down. Now you'll see a couple of different ones and basically these have a completely different effect. I haven't really used them all that much yet but it's often with UI and interfaces. So just general touches, not actual inputs um, like mouse down. That's a horrible explanation but you know, just try it out and you'll see. So mouse down, which is the right, we're just going to let the player shoot. So shoot where it shoots there we go so these conditions we created for an alpha one are to draw the weapon now i'm adding conditions because i want the same button to you know both draw and holster the weapon if you don't want to have the ability to holster the weapon um you only have to create these actions which we'll create right here so you won't have to create any conditions so shooter module um, is armed and we're going to change that to is unarmed. So if he's not armed, we're going to draw. And first I'll give him some ammo, which will just be basic bullets. And I'll give him 50. Again, you don't have to do this, it can be mapped to something else, but I just want the ability to start shooting straight away. And then we're going to draw our weapon, which will be a revolver. We're going to add a small weight and this is more 
um, you know, just to think of the uh, the animation really of drawing it all string. And then we're going to add an aim. Now by default you'd often use camera direction or target. In this case we'll use top down plane. Now the difference between top down plane and top down floor is if I use top down floor and I'd click here then he will shoot literally in this direction. So kind of to the you know to the arrow not beyond it. If you use top down plane he'll shoot straight in this direction. So that's what we're going for. Then for the opposite, um, which is if he already has the weapon, um, we're going to simply holster, going to copy over the same weight here, and we're going to copy this over as well, and just do stop aiming. And that's it. Now this is the big difference compared to normal third person, is that automatically we'll be aiming, and it works really, you know, works quite fine actually um, for this type of game. So let's hit save and we'll give this a try. So right now I'm uh, you know, walking here and I'll, I'll select here. Let me draw the weapon first. But before we do that, and I forgot to do it, but I'll do it uh, right now here. You actually need the player shooter component as well. Otherwise, none of those shooter actions will actually work. So I'll uh, draw the weapon. And as you can see, you know, we're, uh, yeah, well, we're holstering. Um, and, you know, walking here, and as you can see, I can uh, shoot and, you know, all works well. You know, the basic revolver only has a couple of bullets in the, in the, in the, in the mag, so there won't be that many there. So he'll need to reload quite often. Which is not something you, uh, you'll have a lot in top-down games. Now, as you can see, we have this little marker, um, which doesn't really work quite well in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit and um, because we were in play mode, the player character didn't register. So I'm just going to use character shooter. Now the big difference um, with player shooter and character shooter is basically the... Um, can't really think of the name right now. The the web, you know, the little aim uh, UI elements. I honestly can't remember the name. So if I hit play now, we'll uh, draw the weapon the same, and you know, that's it. And basically, where your mouse mouse points, that's where we're shooting. And as you can see, that works really well. You know. He'll, uh, he'll shoot and reload while running. Um, pretty good movement, nothing uh, much else to say about it. Now, we obviously can do exactly the same for melee as well. So I'm simply going to, uh, well, let's just change this name and change it to um, Combat Mechanics. We'll add another trigger. This will be um, mouse down as well. Oh, sorry, uh, key down, apologies. So this will be on key down and we'll do alpha two. There we go. And we're uh, going to create conditions as well. Now this will be the same uh, if armed, but make sure to uh, look it up via the actual uh, menu here, because otherwise you might accidentally pick the shooter one. Because yeah, it, as you can see, it looks pretty much the same. So it's unarmed, and this is going to be slightly easier. So we're going to draw weapon. I'm just going to pick the default sword weapon here. There we go. And else we're going to holster it. Uh, no sheath. Yeah, there we go. Then here in actions, I'm going to try something. I'm not really sure um, if this actually works. Where is melee? I'm going to see if I can do it without an, an additional action. I'm not really sure if it will just skip this or 
causing conflict. So let's just see what happens. So first I will, I'll draw the pistol and this is not causing any issues whatsoever. It's working just fine. Then I'll press 1 again to holster the weapon and we'll do um, and I need the sh uh, melee component as well which I forgot so let's add that character just melee there we go character melee so let's try that again and yeah that works pretty much yeah that works exactly fine so as you can see you know you can even keep that in the same action won't cause any conflicts won't cause any errors it just skips over it so absolutely perfect so yeah that's that's really all you have to do it's really uh you know as you can see for melee it's a lot easier yes um you know things like targeting etc would improve it um but that's where the combat module would come in for example and yeah, when it comes to shooter, a couple of small changes to the way you do it for a normal third person game. But as you can see, there's not much to it. And the fact that you have to aim, it's not really an issue whatsoever, especially not for a top down game. It doesn't really change much at all. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.